Have you ever looked at the fish in the aquarium and thought how wonderful they look? Have you ever thought that some of the fish you were watching could actually be more than 200 years old? Well guys and gals, today in this video, we'll be looking at the 10 animals that live the longest you probably haven't heard of before ever. And also in our list, we have a jellyfish that may live forever. So guys, stick around to the end. So let's start. At number 10 is the macaw. Indigenous to much of Central and South America, macaws are some of the most beautiful birds you can imagine to see. Members of the parrot family these brilliant colored birds can live for up to 90 years in captivity, although they will typically only live around 50 in the wild. So why do some birds live longer than some mammals? Well, it may be something to do with how different species metabolize food. Birds have a high metabolism and temperature. There's also the point that birds can fly, so they have a simple and obvious way to escape many predators that would normally strike if they were not able to get away. Scientists are continuing to look into the ways that birds are able to live for as long as they do, in the hope that it may help humans in the future. At number 9 is the African elephant. The African elephant can live for up to 70 years. Generally, the larger the animal, the longer it tends to live. That's not always the case, as we will show you later in this video, but it certainly holds true for the elephant. But size is a key factor, especially when you consider that the average heartbeat of a mouse is anywhere from 310 to a ridiculous 480 beats per minute. Body temperature can also get up to around 38 degrees centigrade. When you put all that together and compare the elephant with the the heartbeat of around 30 beats per minute, you can see why elephants might outlive the mouse by some period of time. Elephants, unlike humans, do not go to war with each other. In fact, they will tend to do anything and everything they can to ensure each member of their herd remains safe and gets all the care and attention it's possible to give them. Number 8 on the list today is the longfin eel. Longfin eels live around New Zealand and are thought to be one of the longest eels you can find. They are slow-growing fish and can live up to 80 years before they swim away from New Zealand's fresh freshwater rivers, up to the Pacific Ocean, and towards Tonga, where they will lay their eggs and die. Why they live so long is not so clear, other than to say although they are fish, these guys can crawl out of the water and travel across land for up to two days by effectively breathing through their skin. This means that if they are having problems finding food in one location, they're not confined to traveling waterways to look for new sources of food. At number 7 is the Galapagos giant tortoise. Native to the small group of islands they are named after, which are located in the Pacific Ocean, the Galapagos giant tortoise are thought to be the longest living vertebrates on the planet. There are records of one particular specimen living for 177 years, but there are also stories of them living in excess of 200 years. So how do they live so long? Well, some scientists believe it's down to their incredibly slow metabolism and ability to expend energy slowly over time. However, others have declared that trying to determine lifespan by using the rate of metabolism is a poor way to try and get concrete results. What we do know is that following the death of one particular tortoise called Lonesome George in 2012, science has been able to determine that the Galapagos giant tortoise has a number of genes that seem to help repair DNA, look after immune response, and suppress deadly diseases such as cancer. At number 6, we have the red sea urchin. Found along the west coast of North America, from Alaska all the way down to Baja, California, the red sea urchin is beginning to get a name for itself as being immortal. When sea urchins were first studied, scientists believed they only lived for around 10 years or so. However, over the past few years, years, we've found that they can live much longer than that. In fact, it's believed that these guys can go on living way past 100 years old. Quite how they do this is not completely understood at this time. But what we do know is that as far as the red sea urchin is concerned, it's able to regenerate its cellular structure time and time again. The fact that we as humans are unable to do that is what causes us to age and eventually die. We don't know how this works, and again the science bods are looking at the metabolism as a means to explain their long life. Perhaps one day soon, we will know how they do it and can re-engineer the process back into human DNA. Number 5 is the koi, or more specifically, one particular koi carp called Hanako, who was apparently born around the year 1750, making it 225 years old when it finally died in 1977. Most normal koi carp have an average lifespan of around 40 years, and we do not know how or why this particular koi lived as long as she apparently did. The knowledge of the fish's existence came from an interview of the owner, Dr. Komeko by a Japanese radio station way back in 1966. 
Asked how he knew the age of the fish, the doctor replied that you can age a koi carp in a similar way to aging a tree, by counting the annular rings on the scales of the fish. At 4, we have the bowhead whale. One of the bigger whale species and native to all parts of the Arctic Circle, the bowhead whale is known to live for over 200 years. We know this because bowheads have been found with stone-tipped harpoon ends that signify when they were originally attacked. It turns out that the bowhead whale is the longest living mammal, but how come? Again, we can't be completely sure why they live so long. But the science guys are again pinning it down to how their bodies repair any problems that develop with DNA and protein structure. In other words, when cells die, they get replaced or others repaired. Quite how this particular whale has managed to do it is not clear, but we hope to be able to find out more very soon. Number 3 today is the Greenland shark. When King Henry VIII was busy cutting off the heads of two of his wives, a Greenland shark that is still alive today may just have been born. It's absolutely astounding to think that while so much has happened in our world over the past 500 years, a group of 5 meter long sharks have been quietly getting on with their lives in the cold waters of the North Atlantic. So how on earth can a shark, or indeed any animal, live for half a millennia? Again, no one knows for sure, but slow metabolic rate due to the frigid temperatures of the seas that they live in. From what the science guys can tell us, it seems that the sharks are able to activate special genes that slow down the aging process significantly. Number 2 is the Ocean Quahog. A form of clam, the Ocean Quahog may be another animal capable of living at least 500 years. Similar to the Greenland shark, these guys can be found in the cold waters of the North Atlantic. One of these guys was collected from the seabed of Iceland in 2006. Initially, researchers believed that it was over 400 years old. However, they managed to take another look using a different method of aging and found out it was in fact over 500 years old. They nicknamed it Ming, as when this guy was originally born around 1499, the Ming dynasty was in charge of China. So how does it live so long? Yet again, it looks like we're back at looking at the animal's metabolic rate. Just like the bowhead whale and the Greenland shark, these guys live in very cold water and live a very slow lifestyle. Ming is the only quahog that has been studied in this way. It's quite possible possible, indeed probable, that there are others far older than this one. Number one on our list of longest living animals is the immortal jellyfish. Could it be possible to live forever? Well, one particular jellyfish may have found the secret. The cycle of life for a regular jellyfish starts not with a jelly as such, but a larva which floats about until it can find somewhere in the ocean floor to fix itself to. They then become what are known as polyps. As the polyps mature, they bud off and become jellyfish. Typically, this is a one-way process. However, this specific species has figured out how to partly reverse the process. So, if it's in danger from lack of food or has been damaged in some way, it doesn't die, but reabsorbs itself and goes back to the polyp stage. It then goes through maturity again, breaks off as before, and becomes a new jellyfish. It's kind of like a butterfly reverting back to a caterpillar before transforming into a chrysalis and then another butterfly. Quite how long they can continue to do this is unknown at this time, and of course you can't stop other animals from eating them, but theoretically, there's no limit limit to how old these guys can be. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching as always, and don't forget to hit the like button and make sure you don't miss out on our next exciting and informative video. We'll see you then.